Hello Libras, welcome to the Spiritual Centre. I'm Sonia Parker and here is your April 2020 Tarot reading. I hope you are well. Now with the unprecedented circumstances that is happening right now around the world with the coronavirus, I thought I would do a different style of reading this month. Along with the offer of a free personal reading, a life purpose and also your experience card for this year. So please keep watching for details of that. The decks that I'm using this month are Nature's Whispers Oracle Deck and the Universal Celtic Tarot. And as always, I will be pulling a card for the overall energy and then a tarot card for each of the four weeks. And don't forget that offer of a free personal reading as well. Now, the card that I've pulled for the overall energy for you is clear out the old. You've got the wise old owl. You've got the standing stones in the distance. It's almost about wisdom and universal knowledge as well. I pick up with this card. There's a lot of wisdom in there. Um... And with all that's happening around our planet right now, it's time to consider all that you have done today and all that you have achieved. Think back on all the things that you've put in place um, because everything has brought you to this time, this place, this here and now. We are all suffering from the coronavirus in some way. So take this month to think about a new reality. Let go of things that no longer serve you. Have that clear up, especially those things that were just there. Life is precious. Your life is precious. So release any mistakes. Release things that have not gone right for you in the past. And also release any material possessions that no longer serve you. And I feel that there's a kind of a passing on of possessions it's almost as though you will be doing someone a good deed by passing on some of the things that you no longer need and i don't know whether some of you are going to be volunteering in some way but i do feel that you're going to be giving a lot in this coming month and um, you can create something new you can begin again from scratch you can be just what you want to be and right now you are who you were meant to be. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so let's see what advice we can get for you from the tarot. For Libras for April. Some advice and some inspiration for each of the four weeks, please. Okay, so the first card that we have. Wow is the ace of cups what a beautiful card the knight of cups the hanged man and lastly the king of swords okay so the first week the gift all of the aces are gifts from the spirit world um they're the gifts of new beginnings in whichever suit that they fall in. Cups is love and emotion. So this is a gift of new love, new life, um, new beginnings. Something new is coming in for you. As it's next to the Knight of Cups and Knight of Cups is the second week, be prepared. Be prepared to fall in love. Be prepared to rekindle love. Be prepared to share love. I feel that this first couple of weeks is, is you're going to be giving so much of yourself to others that actually you're going to get so much love back in return. It's almost as though um, old patterns would have been a lifetime ago. I feel like it's like ancestral, the, the changes in you as a person as well, um, maturity, growth. These things have already happened and it's almost so you've been through that transition. And now you're about at the point where you're going to reap the benefit of everything that you've done so far up to date. Um, the Knight of Cups, 
for the second week in April. For me, the Knight of Cups is Prince Charming, the Knight in Shining Armour. Someone is coming to your rescue or you could be rescuing someone else. I do sense that someone is coming to your rescue. rescue. So do expect to receive or help, advice in some form from someone. Okay, as you go into the third week of April, there is going to be that need to calm down. There is going to be that need to suspend yourself as well. Um, the hangman's all about in, in, looking inward and being aware, self-awareness. But it's also about saying no. So I know that you're going to give a lot out, but don't push yourself too far. Try to keep something back. You're going to need time and space for you. And you're going to need to say no to people around the middle of April. Um, and again, with the, going towards the end of the month with the King of Swords, the King of Swords is either someone's coming into your life or someone's being very stubborn around you, particularly a male, or it could be an air sign. It may well be that you need to be stubborn. You need to hold on to what you believe in. Um, trust your instincts and stick to it. Know your inner truth and stick to that inner truth. And if someone's being stubborn around you, their behavior is their business. It's none of your business. They have to become a, accountable for their own behavior. And I do sense that I'm not sure if this is the person that you need to say no to as you go through towards the end of the month as well, but I am getting that feeling. Okay, the last card that we've... <laughs> this one's come out before already. The card that's on the bottom of the deck as well is the world. Now, he's standing there very strong. That The stag is a leader. He's independent. But he's also a great protector. He protects all of the flock, all of the other deer. And it's almost as though this is how I feel your month is. You are going to be the protector. You're going to be looking out for others. You're going to be helping others. You're going to be volunteering. You're going to be giving things away. It's almost as though you'll have a clear out. But in that clear out, it's not throwing things away. It's um, helping others in the process the other great message with the world is that all those experiences that you've had up until now have made you who you are so this is something to hold on to if you're stuck indoors and you're stuck at home know just how much you've given in the past as well and if you can continue to give then please do so it is a month for clearing out the old. It is a month to release any th mistakes that you think you've made. Release them. Let them go. I can remember once um, I took 10 attempts to pass my driving test and every single, well, seven of them I failed because of reversing around the corner too wide. And I was an ambulance driver few years ago I gave up three years ago and they said to me when I was doing my training my driver training I said I can't reverse he said and the guy who was teaching me said since when I said oh well, since I was learning to drive he said but you've been driving for 10 years I said I know he said well it's time to let go of that thought process you can reverse and I actually reversed around a whole obstacle course without touching any of the the obstacles but I've got that mindset that mindset that I couldn't do it because I've made mistakes in the past so this is about releasing mistakes that you believe that you've made and clearing out all of the old and making way for new fresh things to come in well bless you for watching I hope you enjoyed the reading if you did then please like and comment and please share and subscribe to the channel and as promised a free giveaway of a private reading 
Now all I want you to do is type your type yes please in the comments along with your full date of birth and I will read for those that I feel drawn to this month. Now if you'd rather have a, this will be in the comments on YouTube if you'd rather have a, an email reading or full email reading I do actually give one away every month to subscribers of my newsletter from my website so pop over to the spiritual center.net and sign up you could be in the chance of winning a full email reading as well if this reading didn't resonate with you or if you're still looking for some guidance then why not take a look at some of my other videos they'll be in the description bless you for watching and please stay safe